from the corner of 20th and Blake, live at Coors Field in Denver. Today, we bring you Diamond Dynasty action between Loch Ness and Vancouver. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. And that brings up the former MVP, Keith Hernandez. And we are ready for some dates. Time baseball. The first baseman, Keith Hernandez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Stepping in, Shepard Jones. The third baseman. Chipper. First pitch on Jones. its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's in the center field for another base hit. And trouble's brewing here to start the ball game. At the plate, Billy Williams. Great chance to Philip drive Williams. in a run here in the early Billy. going. William. He's set and the pitch. Yeah. Curve ball inside corner drops in for a strike. I heard so many pitchers in my career in the dugout talk about you're only one pitch away from getting out of a nasty situation. This is perfect right here. A strikeout or a double play, and he can get right back in control of this inning. Coming to the plate that now, Bryce Harper, right and he could give his guys an early lead right. if he can come through here. Harper. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power oh, oh, letting right. it eat. Behind 0-2 now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Henderson is there. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Fit. So two on with the two away. Baseman. And stepping Brandon. in the second baseman, Phillips. Brandon Phillips. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Now a pickoff play at second, but he gets back in time safe at second base. Now the 1-0. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And another foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Two and -two. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and -two. And now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there. The 2-2 pitch. Way bad and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance. Stepping into the box, Ricky Henderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Griffey waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. At the plate, Ozzie exactly. Smith, as the switch That's hitter will top. take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah, he's not quite yeah. as powerful from the left side. He's certainly not oh, Chipper one. Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right-handed. 2-0. Oh. Oh. One out, nobody on. Little chopper back to the mound. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging hurt. in now, Tony the Gwynn. Right no one aboard Tony. for him, and two gone here in the first. Yeah. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Good power curveball there, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. The one-two. So digging in now, Ken Griffey Jr. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The center field. First pitch on its way. First pitch is a slider down low. It's one and zero. Oh. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. lifted down the line and left and this will wind up a foul ball and this is swung on and missed by Griffey as Junior is gone for the first out of the inning now batting Paul DeYoung as he'll get his first opportunity in this one no score here as we play inning number two DeYoung in an 0 and 2 hole here. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay, you want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now with the plate, Benito Santiago. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls and a strike to count. Hit sharply on the ground. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Bartolo Colon. Number 40. Here comes the first pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Here it comes on nothing and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Now in the box, Andrew Jones. Leading off for the score. Infield in the overshift the here. Now the pitch. Andrew. Fouled off. Go. The wind up and the 0 1. That's off the, the plate. One ball, one, one strike. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. One and two. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. To two balls and two strikes now. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now a check swing here, and no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even an appeal. It's ball four. Into the box. Will Clark. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back in standing. First delivery to him on the way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. 
Now a move over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Now the 2-0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Hey, newsflash, guess where the next pitch is going after that ugly swing? I guarantee you he tried to get him to reach again. The 3-1 takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. No movement on base. It's ball one. The 1-0. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. Jones over at second. Clark on at first with nobody out. Oh, Two out. and one. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And he's in safely at third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That is better. The now to the plate, Boomer Boomer. Barber will Barber. swing it from the left side right here. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You got to throw that one out the window if you're an offensive player right there. You know this guy is predominantly a sinker ball pitcher. High fastball, he's got to show me that a few more times for me to honor it. A 2 2 one more time. Fouled away. Another try at 2 2. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Batting it. Digging in, no Matt picture. Harvey. He's got Matt. a chance to add to this early lead Harvey. as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2 nothing ball game. In now, Ryan Sandberg. And he's got runners at the, the corners here with man. only one gun. Oh, yeah. Here's the first pitch to him. Sandberg. Too low, 1 0. Sandberg oh, takes a swing from the right handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. A play at the plate, and the recovery will be in time to get him at the plate. And that's going to hurt because now there are two away. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around, and the inning is...